Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class is all about how to draw a regular octagon inscribed in a circle. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now this is where the part 2 of our video class, the part 1 of our video, we actually draw a regular octagon by just simply using the protractor and then the ruler. So if you want to learn more on how to draw the regular octagon by just simply using the protractor and then the ruler, I will just put the link on the description down below. Now, in today's video class, we will be drawing a regular octagon by using a compass, a protractor, and then a ruler because we need to draw the regular octagon inside a circle. Alright, so let's start. So, our given radius, we have 3 centimeters for the radius. Now, once again, let's always remember this one, that a full circle measures 360 degrees. Alright, so first thing to do, class, you draw vertical line, that would be 3 centimeters, and that would be our radius. Alright, so once again, use your ruler. So these are centimeters. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So these are centimeters. So once again, draw vertical line, that would be 3 centimeters. That would be from 0 up to 3. Alright, so vertical line, that would be 3 centimeters. Alright, so once again, let's do it step by step. You do it slowly. Alright, so 3 centimeters, and that would be our radius. And then next step, class, is we need to draw the circle. So from this compass, class, the needle, you align the needle here and this end point, and then the pencil on the second point. Alright, so align the needle here. Put the needle here in the first point, and then the second point, that would be your pencil. Alright, so adjust your pencil. Yep, this one. Yep. And then simply rotate. You do it slowly, class. Once again, you do it step by step. Simply rotate your compass. Okay, let me measure it again. Yep. Yep, this one. And then simply rotate your compass. Just do it step by step, class. So we need to draw the regular octagon inside a circle. So inscribe in a circle. Yep, this one. Yep, so we have our circle. So once again, the full circle measures 360 degrees. Now, since we need to draw the regular octagon, we need to divide the circle into eight equal parts. Once again, class, a full circle measures 360 degrees. Now, since we need to draw regular octagon, we need to divide the circle into eight equal parts. So therefore, we need to divide this one into eight. So that would be 360 degrees. Divide 8, and that would be 45 degrees. So therefore, we need to divide this full circle. Each degree, that would be 45 degrees. So 8 equal angles, that would be 45 degrees. Alright, so simply use your protractor. So once again, use your protractor to divide this one. We need to divide this one into 45 degrees. 8, 45 degrees. Alright, so once again, the center part of your protractor, this one right here, class, you align it on the middle point. And then you align 0 in this particular line because your angle forms like this. Alright, so align the center part of your protractor in this given point, And then you align 0 in this particular line. So center part of your protractor in this given point, And then you align 0 in this particular line. So once again, plus the 0, this one right here. So this is 0. So center part, this one. This is the center part and then this is 0. So align the center part of your protractor in this given point. And then we align 0 in this particular line. Alright, and then we need to have 45 degrees. Use the outer ang angles, outer numbers. We have 0, 10. So this red one plus 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in between 40 and 50, there will be 45. So this one right here, 45. Alright, so this is 45. And then you sketch this one.
Okay, once again, let's do it step by step. Alright, so this will be the intersection of the point. So, first point and then second point. So, once again, our radius, there would be 3 centimeters. And this is 45 degrees. Alright, so once again, we need to divide this one. So, our angle, once again, forms like this. So, the center part of your protractor, you align it here. And then you align zero in this particular line because we need to have another 45 degrees angle. So align the center part of your protractor in this given point, And then we align zero in this particular line for us to have 45 degrees angle. So align the center part of our given protractor in this given point, And then we align zero in this particular line. Alright, so you do it slowly. Step by step. Yep, that's it. So this will be... Yep, that's it. So that would be 10, 20. Once again, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, in between 45. This one right here. Alright, and then you sketch this one. So once again, this is 45 degrees. So in this given point, you align zero in this particular line, and then you align the center part in this given middle point. So middle point, center part of our protractor, and then we align zero in this particular line because we need to have another 45 degrees. So just do it step by step plus. Alright, so we align zero in this particular line, this one right here, zero, center part, and then zero. And then the angle, that would be 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, in between 45. This one right here, 45. Yep, and then sketch this one. Alright, so once again, align 0 in this particular line. And then we align the center, center part of our protractor in this given point, And then we align 0. So your protractor forms like this, center part of your protractor in this given point. This one right here. And then we align 0 in this particular line. Yep, that's it. Align 0. Yep, that's it. And then we need to have 45 degrees angle. So 45 degrees angle. Yep, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40. In between, there will be 45. So this one right here. And then sketch this one. Alright, and another 45 degrees angle. So you align 0 in this particular line. And then we align the center part of our retractor in this given point. Alright, and then 45 degrees angle. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 45, this one right here in between. And then you sketch this one. So how many points now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, and then once again you align 0 in this particular line. And then the midpoint, the center part of our protractor in this given midpoint. Alright, so center part of our protractor in this given point, And then we align zero. So you do it step by step. You do it slowly. Alright, so center part and then zero. Alright, and then use the outer angles, the red one. We have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 in between. That would be 45. This one right here. 45. Yep, this one. Alright, and then simply sketch this one. This will be our guide class to draw the regular octagon. Alright, and then last one, we align 0 in this particular line, and then the center part in this given point. Okay, this one right here, align 0 in this particular line, and then we need to have 45 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, in between 45. And then simply sketch this one.
Alright, and then this will be our last point. So those points class, the intersection within the circle, just simply connect the points class and then you're all set. Simple as that class, simply connect the points and then you're all set. Drawing a regular octagon inscribed in a circle. So inside a circle, drawing a regular octagon. So simply connect this one. We can use our ruler to connect this one. So we can use our pen now to finalize our answer, finishing touches. So simply connect this one using your pen. Alright, first line, this one right here. Yup, this one right here. And then this one right here. Just do it slowly class, step by step. Simply connect the points. This one right here. This one right here. This one right here. Simply connect the points class and then you're all set. Alright, and then this one right here. And then that's it class, all set. Drawing a regular octagon inscribed in a circle, inside a circle. And then we can erase, okay, we can erase this one, the excess lines, we can erase this one. We can actually erase the circle class because we just simply use the circle to draw the regular octagon. So we can erase our circle. Alright, so once again, we our given radius a while ago, that would be 3 centimeters. Alright, so we can erase our circle. We can erase this one, our guide. Alright, so once again, class, if you want to learn more on how to draw regular octagon by just simply using the protractor and then the ruler, I will just put the link on the description down below. So in today's video class, we use a compass because we draw a circle and we draw the regular octagon inside a circle. So let's measure our sides. So this one, once again, use this one, centimeters. So we have 0 up to, we have 2.3. Okay, so this is 2.3 and this one, let's measure this one, 0 up to 2.3, yep, another 2.3, yep, 2.3 centimeters. So this will be 2.3 centimeters, 2.3 centimeters, this is 2.3 centimeters, 2.3 centimeters, 2.3 centimeters, 2.3 centimeters 2.3 centimeters 2.3 centimeters all right and then that's it class so once again class in your book it says side of three centimeters once again that would be our radius that is three centimeters and our our sides that would be 2.3 centimeters so once again if you want to learn on how to draw regular octagon with exactly three centimeters for the given side by just simply using the protractor and then the ruler, I will just put the link on the description down below. Now, in your book class, the given 3 centimeters, that would be our radius. And the exact centimeters, that would be 2.3 centimeters. Alright, so once again, I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.